Hey YouTube, uh, this video I want to make about what anti-gel that I would recommend according to what Rodasis from Prime recommends to us. Now a lot of times a lot of drivers would think that um, this one particular anti-gel for your fueling your semi truck is usually like Howes, like H-O-W-E-S. Well, um, I don't know if everybody can explain, not explain, but understand you know some of these words so what i'm going to do is put it at the bottom of my description of what i recommend so um i just got it so they were saying that one of the good things to get and i'm gonna show it to you like if you go in there and you see the red top look for the red top and it says power service ps and i got the one with the c-team booster um they got one without it, but I believe the one with the CTAIN booster is for like um, below zero degrees because you got some that you can use all year round. Then there's one specifically for winter time to keep your fuel from gelling up. Now let me explain why um, diesel fuel would even gel up in the first place. Now, gasoline fuel, which you would put in a normal car vehicle, that's more like an alcohol based type well not to say alcohol based but it's way thinner and way more evaporative than um diesel fuel so you know alcohol doesn't freeze like just to prove it try to put a 80 proof um like maybe people that drink a lot like try to put one of your liquors in the freezer that's 80 proof alcohol and see if it'll freeze i bet you it won't so the fact that alcohol I, i'm not sure don't quote me on it, but i believe alcohol is in gasoline fuel so that causes that not to freeze but diesel fuel is more of a oil like if you compare both of the two like if you compare um gasoline with diesel as far as match like flammability and you put a match to diesel obvious i mean put a match to gasoline the the gasoline fuel will combust and and you know get turn on fire before diesel will but if you put a match to a cup of diesel fuel it won't ignite uh diesel fuel has to ignite under huge huge compression and that's exactly what it does inside your diesel engine so um what ignites um gasoline in your car is spark plugs so spark plugs each time each piston goes up in the cylinder that spark plug creates a spark which ignites the gasoline which gives you your power stroke now with diesel fuel diesel have glow plugs but they don't they don't ignite glow plugs like the the operation of a diesel engine is full compression so uh there's like high high compression in diesel engines so all that compression after the um diesel fuel is squirted into each cylinder is what caused the ignition be in diesel fuel for diesel engines so that all that being said is to say that because diesel fuel is so oily and so thick that any type of temperature can furthermore make it that much thicker so obviously common sense would tell you that if something is not the manufacturer the manufacturer's thickness as far as to travel through your fuel lines into your engine for it to turn over you're not going to be able to crank your engine so when um temperatures get 30 probably they like to say 40 um degrees and below but this thing says 30 degrees and below there's a potential possibility that your thick old diesel fuel will gel up like now from oil it turns into gel so after that all be explained, Rodasis sends us helpful messages on how to work on our trucks or what they recommend or this, that, and the third. So they recommended um, this right here. It's called PS. It's called Power Service Diesel Fuel Supplement Cetane Boost. Winterize Anti-Gel. It prevents fuel gelling and protects against fuel filter icing. You really don't want them problems because that's even for your APU because your APU runs off of um, your driver's side tank. So if your APU can't suck fuel to start itself up, because the APU is nothing but a, um, a engine too, a diesel engine too. So if your APU is not starting for some reason and it's super cold, I would recommend you check your, um, you know, check your fuel. They got, I think they got, um, like if it does get that far, 
they got something called I think it might be the same name brand as this the PS power service but it's called 911 emergency so if it does get gelled up you can get the 911 emergency and pour it in your tank and let it sit for a while and that can de-ice the fuel to where you might have a possibility of starting up again so I want to kind of educate Kate y'all on I'm gonna read from the um, bottle and try to give y'all facts all right so diesel fuel supplement plus cetane is a winterizer anti-gel that is used in the cold winter months to pre, pre to prevent fuel gelling and keep fuel filters from plugging with ice and wax this arctic formula keeps engines running for maximum winter operability diesel fuel supplement is intended for use only during cold winter months when temperature drops below 30 degrees use diesel clean plus cetane boost in the silver bottle for peak performance in non-winter months prevents fuel from gelling protects against fuel filter icing boosts cetane for faster cold starts contains slick diesel lubri lubricator to protect fuel pumps and injectors from increased wear caused by ultra low sulfur diesel fuel effective in all diesel fuel including ulsd and biodiesel blends does not contain alcohol of any kind, safe for use in all diesel engines. Will not void engine manufacturer's warranty when used as directed. Now I'm gonna read the directions, you know, you know, just hopefully any type of facts is good one. So I wanna give facts for this instead of my opinion. So that's why I'm reading from the bottle. Okay, at temperatures above zero degrees, add entire content 80 ounces to a 250 gallons of diesel fuel. When temperature drops below zero, or when using biodiesel blends, add entire content 80 ounces to 125 gallons of diesel fuel. If your vehicle will not start or gain power in cold temperatures, use Power Service Diesel 911. That's the one I was telling y'all about. In the red bottle, as directed on a container, after the engine is running, add diesel fuel supplement plus seating. This product is to be added to the fuel. Do not add the diesel. Do not add to diesel exhaust fuel tank, meaning don't add to your DEF. DEF is a whole nother system. So guys, the only thing that's supposed to go in your DEF system, guess what, is DEF. So don't be trying to put no fuel treatment, no treatments of no sort, until they come out with something that to make money off us for that is nothing as far as fuel treat, or not to say fuel, but nothing as far as DEF treatment for that. It just takes what it takes, which is only DEF fluid. And hopefully you get in proper clean DEF fluid, not no expired messed up DEF fluid that can mess your whole DEF system up. So that being said, I'm about to add this stuff because a lot of times if you like a quarter tank or almost on E, that can furthermore make your diesel fuel gel up. So guys, in cold winter months, do not let your truck get on E because the more you let your truck run on E, the higher the, the possibility that your, your um, diesel fuel will definitely gel up. So you probably have a better chance when you keep your um, tank above a uh, half a tank so that way you're not gelling up because it's cold out here i mean it's cold like i'm in um i'm in pa right not pa but new jersey right now and man it's, it's so damn cold i i definitely gotta put a coat on my dog man because i <laughs> that's mean to walk him out there and it's dang cold i know he gotta be cold and i definitely gonna put his shoes on so all right y'all i'll be getting back with y'all the next video i am going to take the time to start the first chapter of the um, HOS Hours of Service ELD. So when I do do the videos for the ELD, it's gonna be straight from the book, and I'm just gonna read chapter by chapter until we finish, so that way I can give y'all facts and not my opinion. So, all right, guys, I'll be getting back with you. I hope everybody is staying warm. Let's love each other, not judge each other, because I love y'all, and um, time is of the essence. I'm about to make better time of it and put some anti-gel in my system so I don't have no issues. All right, y'all. Deuces.